And then notice that there was water in the drain, there was water coming up here, and then someone flushed the toilet and there was water coming out in the bathroom also. The interesting thing is we had the drain snaked back in September when we were doing construction because the drain was clogged and they, they used a ton of plaster in the cave and we thought that they just put too much plaster down the drain. And so they cleaned it, they snaked it all the way to the street, so it was clean then, so I don't know if it's... They say which way the drain goes. Does it go up towards the back of the building, you know, or goes up towards the front? Do you remember the name of the company? It was Roman. Yeah. Did they do like a video inspection of all the video of the pipes? He did, and he said that there was some, he said there was some plaster, he said there was some paper, or whatever, paper towels, whatever. And, but I mean, since that, so I've been open for weeks. Nothing people use about. Down it, so I, I don't know. So, our original thought was that it was frozen, but it's a little peculiar that this has happened. So, I don't know. Do you remember if they give you any type of footages? They cleared it at 50 feet, 100 feet? I think feet. he said they went all the way, he said it was 100 feet to the street, I guess. Okay. Did he happen to send you an email? Ruderman usually does everything through email and they usually actually give a detailed write-up about what's going on. I've, I've called them to ask some questions for people before. That's how I know. I don't know. I can search my email. That's possible. Probably just that from here. Yeah, and we, we do get some odor through, which I don't know if it's the vent or if it has to do with the drain. It might be a separate issue. I don't know. Do you use, do you use this um, mop sink? Frequently, I uh, don't. Right. Nope. Well, that's your problem right there. Every once in a while, you got to run water in there because that trap on the mop sink will dry out, and then air air is able to come back through if there's no water in the trap. Oh, so that's, that's the, the odor. odor problem. That's the odor problem. Okay. So every few and weeks, would I smell it in the bathroom? Mm, you shouldn't smell in the bathroom, but because that's the odor is usually in the bathroom. I mean, okay. maybe it's in there too, but I notice it in there. Right. It's hard to say with that. It might have a bad wax ring or, I mean, if it's, we do do smoke testing also. We could smoke test the system, but um, probably just change the wax ring if it gets that horrible. Yeah, okay. Okay. And it's intermittent too. It's not even like it's a right. chronic everyday problem. All right, let's grab some tools and then we'll open this up and take care of it for you. Thank you. There. Yep, there's the write-up. There you go. The more information that we have before we start, the yeah. easier. Yeah. Arrived to find main line for vacant unit backed up. Customer states likely plaster and in drain. Flush toilet several times and ran mop sink until main backed up. Open floor clean out outside of utility closet where mop sink was. Snaked main line out 100 feet with 3-inch blade to clear blockage of plaster and wipes and paper towels. Out roughly 25 feet began running excessive water and re-snaked line with full size blade. Tested, function line is clear and flo flowing property no guarantee on this line due to wipes and plaster and paper towels in the pipe. So it doesn't say which direction it went in and it doesn't even say that they, they cameraed. All right. else okay. So they cleared it at 25 feet. Silicone? 
It's dope. It's just white dope. Um. Is this thing supposed to do this? <laughs> I've never seen that. Maybe that's what they should get at the nursing home. Saved it. <laughs> My goodness. Well, uh, you want to go in with just fours or you want to do threes first? I want fours. Stand back over there. You can watch and ask questions if you'd like. So will you have will you have a camera so you can see what what it is, or does it just sort of power through it? So it works in two different ways. One, if it feels rough in there, we do have a camera. Um, but where it's underwater right now, you're not going to see anything anyways. Okay. Um, usually with this, we'll power through it, get you draining, um, and sometimes we'll pull back whatever it, it's possible that it could be. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Is it possible that it was just frozen? I mean, you'd think that it would have been an ongoing problem, even if it was just frozen. Yeah, I don't think it's frozen. Okay. It's been too warm for it to be frozen, I think. Right. Yeah, it's been way too warm. Yeah. Unplug this first one. I'll plug it back in when we're done. Um, there's a plug in the bathroom that's here because it's long enough that it can for you. Right here is perfect. So, yeah, if it feels rough in there, we can suggest a camera, um, depending on how he what he feels. Yeah. My son's a plumber, just regular plumber, not a drain plumber, but he mentioned, you know, if, it, if there was plaster in there from before, maybe they didn't get all of it and some of it dislodged. It's really hard to say. We'll let you know, though. Yeah. We'll, know, we'll let you know what we find. Okay. Sometimes we find good stuff, sometimes it's, sometimes it just goes right out and we and never know, know what, it what it was, so.
You want me to turn the toilet on and flush, or are you still up there with water? Okay. Single ply toilet paper. Just in case, I'd go down to a single ply so you don't constantly have the issue. Okay. Um, it's better for the pipes, and it'll um, it breaks up if it gets hung up on something. It'll break up a lot faster. Okay. sinks or anything or is it just what's back there for plumbing um just back there okay yeah. so just what's back here is all they have for plumbing so i'm flushing a bunch of times and No. It's a salt area. You can't really get salt wet. I'm going to run out and uh, grab the book real quick. 
and start that process while you're finishing up in here. She's gonna ask me while I'm writing this up. Did it feel okay in there? Hold on, Mom. Did you read, did you read, read on their receipt? On their email that they used three inch covers? They went in with three inch first, and then they said they came back out, and while they were running water, they ran fours through. Or full size is what the kit said. They used four inch covers. Oh, fine on that. Oh, if it happens again, you know, I'm pulling wipes out of there or anything, then it can work next time. Right. I told her to go down a size, um, go down to single ply toilet paper too, because she's using two ply. So, just as a precaution, you know. Guess what? You're draining. Yay! He hasn't fully come back yet. Um, he said, but in, we go in with a full four inch is what they call it. They called it a full size cutter okay. um, in your email. They went in with threes first and then they go in with a full is what they called it. They're actually four inch cutters. So they open a four inch width of a pipe okay. so you can scrape the sides of the pipe. Okay. Um, so we just went in with the fours. He said it feels fine in there. And it was clogged though. Right. So it could, if it's cast iron that leaves, there is what they call pipe scale buildup. Yeah. So especially in our area, you know how outside you get salt and have the mat fast. Yeah. Right. It, it, that's, there could be something else going on in there. Um, but he said it feels fine. So we don't recommend camering it, especially with the holidays. Yeah. We really don't yeah. like to yeah. have you throw money at something yeah, that's not right. necessary. Right. Um, I do recommend going down to a single ply toilet paper like I told you. Yep, yep. Um, just in case it does get caught up on that pipe scale buildup that's in there, uh, it's gonna break down a lot faster. Yeah. Okay. Um, if it does happen again frequently, then we'd suggest camering it. As long as we don't pull any wipes or anything yeah. back, then he would suggest camering it. But maybe somebody put paper towels or something. Maybe like this paper It's towels. possible. Yeah. Like you're saying, if it's cast iron and it Right, yeah. right. Even um, like if you blow your nose with tissue, that that won't break down like a single ply toilet paper. That takes a little while to break down as well. Really? Yeah. Mm. You would think that it would take a lot less time, but it yeah. actually takes a little bit longer than than the toilet paper to break down. So your best bet, and it's more cost effective. I mean, it's sure. uncomfortable to use yeah. single ply, but it's it's right. better on your plumbing. Sure. Okay. So. Yeah. But we can do this part. He's coming back right now. See if we pull anything back. Okay. Um, and then. We'll be all out of your hair. Okay. And you guys can enjoy your holiday. Oh, and you too. I, I appreciate it. Did you come all the way from Manchester? Nashua. Oh. So we're actually based out of Nashua. So. Oh, okay. Uh, it's about a 45 minute ride. Yeah, we have to take the, because it's not right off the highway for us. So we actually have to go 111 through Wyndham. Oh, that's And okay. come that way, because that's the side that we're on. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. We've known your we've known your husband for years. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's a hundred feet. Time to come back in. See if we can get a time lapse of the cable coming back in. See how that works out.
looks like there might be a T-Y on the flat down there. Very common in New Hampshire. So I was just informed that this line, the reason why they don't have a back door, the Chinese restaurant's kitchen's right behind this wall. That's what I was just letting them know about wipes and paper towel. Then it's possible that it's not coming from them either. They could just be the lowest spot and that's why they're getting the... Definitely wipes. Sorry if I was blinding you. Just got wipes in the middle of the cable. Did you say fleshy, fleshy? Yeah, it can be corny too. That does it for that one. See you on the next one. Ooh, it's cold though.